it's Angela Zajek Brook here from Angela Brook Art and I'm in my new studio space getting settled in and I have been working on a uh, journal the Ranger journal and I'm at the very end and I want to finish if you've never seen one of these the pages are all different materials so this is a burlap on this side and this has a tag on it so I want to use this, I don't know if you've ever tried it, this Ranger product by Tim Holtz. It's called, uh, t it's just t tissue wrap. It's a little thicker than tissue wrap. I really like it. So I cut a piece off and you can kind of pick what you want on there. So what I'm going to do is move the camera down so you can see. I'm going to cover my color my page and I'm going to use a, a baby wipe to paint. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna put some paint on the, uh, you can see right there, just squirt some out. And I use this paper, this is paper from, um, paper, you know, temporary blinds from when we moved. And so now it's gonna make, it's gonna look really neat and then I'll cut it out later and use it in my journal. So I just, whoops, put some of the paint out. And then I'm going to take a baby wipe. And the reason I like painting with the baby wipe is you can get in a really good space and you can paint a lot lighter so it dries pretty quick so I just use the paint that's on there that I got out of the lid and this is the lemon the heavy body by Dina Wakely the tangerine and the magenta and I've been using those in this journal so that's what I have on there so I'm just going to these are some of my favorite colors and I'm just, there's no right or wrong, you just sort of uh, paint. You can mix it together or you can keep it uh, separate in little streaks. Mine's kind of mixing, so I'll just go with that. I like the orange around the outside. Put some more pink in there. And I want to have it a little brighter because through this paper it's going to look really pretty. So there was some yellow that got on the, the tissue paper. I'm not sure where that yellow came from, but it won't matter when I put it down. These colors will go with that. So I put some orange over here. That nice bright tangerine orange. I did gesso my page first. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Sort of mixed together. Put a little bit of pink up there, brighter pink. Sort of mixed together. But this, the, it sinks in part of the page. It leaves a, it doesn't have a smooth look. It has a, you can see it, there's somewhat of a pattern there and I like that. So now I'm going to uh, put this over that and you'll be able to see it a little more. I think I'm gonna make the pink a little, I think I'm gonna put some brighter pink on there. Try and pop some of that pink through. I'll just put it on top and you can just paint this in layers. And I'm not gonna see this directly so just paint it till you like the color of it. So what I'm gonna to use to attach it with is the regular gel medium, the golden. I'm gonna use the matte. And I'm taking my Royal Lang Nickel three-quarter brush. This is your first time watching me. I use this brush for a lot of things. And the paint is still wet, but that's okay. And I'm just going to spread my uh, gel medium on there. And I'm almost at the end, so it's gonna take me a minute to get all this out. I'm just covering my page with gel medium. You can do this several ways. You can start at the top and work down, or I kinda of like to do the whole page. Then I know for sure I don't miss. And I kinda of go across and then I don't get those uh, crinkles in my, in my tissue paper. I am gonna need more of that. So you position it where, I don't want it dead center. So I think I'm gonna put it, so I'm gonna start at this top corner and I'm just going to smooth it on there and you will see. And over here, I'll let that dry real, I'm gonna push that into that crease real good. And then when, it, when it's dry, I will, it will allow me to rip it off just like any other tissue paper. And it doesn't, it goes really nice and smooth. I really like how it looks. So you can see, so there it is on the page. 
So I feel like this page really doesn't need a whole lot. The color comes through. You can color the butterfly if you want, but I sort of like the subtleness of it. I think what I will do is, um, when, it, when it's dry, these, this will come off around. So I'm going to finish it by taking my the golden. I feel like it needs some drops of paint on top. And I'm just going to, oh, sometimes that white comes out first. I don't know why it does that before the paint actually, before the color actually comes out. I think I'm at the end of it. It doesn't mix. It's just, okay. I have to come up with plan B. I think it is almost completely empty. This is my favorite color. So I have this over here. I have some um, paint in a, in a dropper bottle. Let's see if this works. There we go. And just drop some drops on there. It did get on the butterfly, and I don't want it on the butterfly. So I am going to take the baby wipe. While it's wet, I can get away with this. And I don't think it needs, I'm gonna wipe off it. It left like a film on there. I'm gonna wipe that off. And then I like these De La Rowney paints. So I'll drop a little bit of orange on there. And I feel like that's all it really needs. I don't think it needs a whole lot more than that. And on this spread, you can see through this side, you can see some of the oranges. So that's why I picked this color. This kind of goes along with it. And then I need to put something there. I'm not sure, or I might just leave it blank. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop some of this paint. Um, it will come to the other side, so I need to put it, need to protect my journal. And I am going to drop some of the colors <clears throat> that I dropped onto that page. And I feel like that makes it more a little more cohesive. I don't think it needs a lot on there. I may come up with a, a word or a saying, and that's all I'm doing. And now I feel like that is done. And what I would do is to make this one is I'll try this will look this burlap, you can't write on it easily but I'll take a marker after it dries completely and go around it and that'll make it uh, as one page. So that's how easy it is to finish a page and I used the Ranger tissue paper, the Tim Holtz. So if you have any questions in the comments, um, just leave, you know, leave them in the comments.